guys remember last time on the last video i did analysis on gold now let's let me give you a quick view on how i see it and how i say that something might might happen because i was waiting for it to buy at this particular level here and plus did not come through so let me give you a quick view on it and yeah now let's check it out first first thing first starting from the weekly time frame and today is friday as we are almost ending a week and uh, the goal right now is on all time highs which i did explain with the previous video we were closing this the last the, the last weekly candle and we opened this candle here market almost pushed through but along this key level at the same time we also had the news coming in which were fomc which were a bit crazy and we also had an employment claims which came out on thursday around 3 30 pm according to my local time and i thought maybe the the fundamental news would push it around this level so that i can make my entry on the bus because i was looking at right now gold is on all time wise now you see buyers are still controlling the market movement as you can see the last time we got this consolidation here after this the breaker and we got this strong post in your breaker and consolidation the market made a breaker so what i was i was thinking like is something like this one here with the moment market came through along this key level that's what i thought also would have also happened this price here to push a little bit around this level so i can, can i can get a good entry on the bias and right now the daily candle is already closed and it has all already closed by it was just closed without even promising me that we can have maybe a push down you see so what i'm anticipating right now is whatever happens right now that price has to break this one because right now we have closed with a strong candle on the daily implying that we have more buyers still in the market so there might chance there might be chance that our price maybe is looking to push all time highs along this level here which is my negative 27 of my fib level and negative 61 percent of my fib level mind you this is actual level lower level that we have right now this is a current row which was also initiated by with the fundamental news which were the list now first thing first so long as that we have uh, this break of structure here this is a current break of structure in my opinion because we had this lower now i might look for bias along this level here although i have to be very very careful i know called is one of the craziest trading asset in motion and on one hour this is what i see yesterday after the news release i saw this opportunity but i said no way let me first wait and stay calm you see so this is what i'm seeing right now i'm seeing that price is looking to break this level so it might break by either coming all the way to the down levels this level area or this area here but since it will be on this this video here i've recorded this on friday now i'll be watching our friday candle will close and on the next week i will also be watching how call can i i will be anticipating for opportunities on this particular trading asset so this is what i have on call i just gave out a little bit update and what's going on what's going on right now is that we had the news which came out yesterday which was of fomc and mind you fomc is that is, is only good to the assets as right now the fed is did cut less by 50 percent that's huge right and so the interest rates like i mean lowering interest rates that's good for the economy whereby we we have to see the years that are will be gaining strength but as well the assets have to be gaining strength that's why i'm still looking for potential bulls dominating this asset here you get it 
that's what I'll be working for buying opportunity whenever it happens. But I will keep on updating to also other assets that I'll be trading. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe, like, also share with your loved ones. Cheers and see you in the next video.